Okay, so this is a, a quick experiment uh, to see the advantages of using a content distribution network. Now, in this case, I have uh, designed a, a route across the internet from a video server to a video client. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the advantages of moving this video server over to the right closer and closer to the client. So I have a series of scenarios, and at each scenario, I'm taking off one of these hops. Now I'm simulating other users, and I know this is um, not so accurate, I'm simulating other users using a LAN here who are going to pull off data randomly from any one of these servers. Um, here we we'll look at all of these. Um, I'm trying out nine, so I've just cut out three of those hops. And some of my other scenarios, I've cut out more and more until the shortest scenario where I only have one hop. So let's have a look at the results that I get here. Now, I'm going to have a look at the video conferencing packet end-to-end -end delay, and I can see in this case, my first scenario, that I have a, a very large uh, increase in end-to-end -end delay, and that is well, well, well above what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something which is around about 200 milliseconds or lower. So I can see that if I were to use a content distribution network with these 12 hops here, uh, the customers in this network scenario would not get a very good quality of experience. If I compare that with other scenarios, now let's say I were to try scenario 9, scenario 6, scenario 3, and scenario 1. Um, if I were to actually overlay these scenarios instead, and what I can see then is as I reduce the number of hops, I have the end-to-end -end delay reduce until, well, okay, three hops gives me a little bit of a peak over 250 milliseconds, but three hops would probably be adequate, um, and perhaps four hops would also be adequate in order to have uh, a high quality of experience for my, my end customers in this scenario. So this gives us an idea of the, the value of having a content distribution network by moving the content closer to the customers. And we're assessing that value by what we assume to be the end user quality of experience based on the packet end-to-end -end delay, which we're looking to maintain something mm, around about 200 milliseconds. Okay, thanks for listening.